In order to plot points on the coordinate plane, as we see here on the right, we need to recognize that the coordinate plane is formed by the intersection of two number lines. The horizontal number line, called the x-axis, and the vertical number line, called the y-axis. Each point is identified by an ordered pair consisting of an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Where the x-coordinate tells us whether to go left or right, and the y-coordinate tells us whether to go up or down. So to plot point A with an x-coordinate of 2 and a y-coordinate of 5, we're going to start at the origin and move right 2 units because the x-coordinate is positive 2, and then up 5 units because the y-coordinate is positive 5. This would be point A. Again, we went right two units because x was positive two. We went up five units because the y-coordinate was positive five. Point B has an x-coordinate of negative three and a y-coordinate of positive two. So for point B, we'll start the origin and move left three units because the x-coordinate is negative three. And then since the y-coordinate is positive two, we'll move up two units. This would be the location of point B. Again, we went left three units because the x-coordinate was negative three. We went up two units because the y-coordinate was positive two. Point C has an x-coordinate of negative four and a y-coordinate of negative six. So we'll start the origin and move left four units because the x-coordinate is negative four. And then we'll go down six units because the y-coordinate is negative six. And here's the location of point C. Point D has an x-coordinate of positive seven and a y-coordinate of negative two. So we'll start the origin and move right seven units because the x-coordinate is positive seven. And then we'll move down two units because the y-coordinate is negative two. Here's a location of point D. Now for these last two examples, notice how one of the coordinates is zero. But we're gonna follow the same rules. The x-coordinate is zero and the y-coordinate is four. So here, since the x-coordinate is zero, we're not going to move left to right. We're going to stay right here on the origin. And then the y-coordinate is positive four, so we'll just move up four units. So point E with coordinates zero, four would be right here. And for the last example, point F, we have an x-coordinate of negative seven and a y-coordinate of zero. So we'll start the origin and move left seven units because the x-coordinate's negative seven. But then since the y-coordinate is zero, we're not gonna move up or down, we're gonna stay right here. This is the location of point F, where the x-coordinate is negative seven and the y-coordinate is zero. The last thing I wanna mention is that the coordinate plane has four quadrants. Quadrant one is here, where both the x and the y coordinates are positive. Quadrant two is here, where the x coordinate is negative, the y coordinate is positive. This is quadrant three, where both the x and y coordinates are negative. And here's quadrant four, where the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. So point A is in quadrant one, point B is in quadrant two, point C is in quadrant three, and point D is in quadrant four. Point E and F fall on the axes and therefore are not considered in one of the quadrants. Point E is on the y-axis and point F is on the x-axis. I hope you found these examples helpful.